that my sister has like roosters in her freaking house. I am not messy. Messy as hell. I, that's not true. Oh. <laughs> So I am currently in Tampa, Florida. For those of you guys that do not know, I was born in New York. I lived there till I was like seven, moved down to Tampa. So I did go to middle school, some elementary school, definitely high school here. Then after that, I moved to Miami, did a year and a half of college there, then moved back up to New York. So I've been in New York now for about seven years. My family still lives in Tampa, so I do come here quite often to visit them. Uh, the last time I came here though was a year ago exactly so I'm here visiting family one of my friends from high school is getting married so I'm just spending you know quality time with friends and family I'm at my sister's house I just got here yesterday so I'm about to head out to have breakfast with one of my best friends and it's so crazy because this year like within the last month or two like all of my friends had kids and clearly I don't have kids I don't even got a man so yeah they like they're buying houses having babies getting married and i'm just here talking to a camera so <laughs> really excited about this vlog this is definitely going to be a friends and family type of vlog so you guys are going to meet some of the closest people to me some of my bestest friends you're going to meet my crazy ass dominican family it's been a while since i've vlogged so get ready because this one is definitely going to be a good one Thanks to Drive Shop and Mitsubishi, I get to drive this little beauty around while I'm in town. And this is a Mitsubishi Mirage. Um, I'll put the year down here somewhere. This is a four-door hatchback. And guys, isn't this car so freaking adorable? It looks like the um, car emoji on iPhones. Look how cute it is. I dropped off my niece and nephew at school this morning and they were like, Thea Ada, I love your car, it's so cute. It looks super small guys but it's actually quite roomy in the inside I was very surprised and I still can't believe it's a four-door so here you go you have you know space enough for two even three people in the back seat and here's the front of it so cute I'm obsessed and then you have your trunk here Is this not the cutest little car ever? Ooh, that Florida heat. I don't know, what was I thinking wearing this today? Cause it's about to come off. I was reading the forecast before I came and I was kind of bummed because it was saying how it was saying how it's supposed to be um, raining and thundering and stuff all week. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I wanted to go to the beach. So, it looks like the forecast is different. So glad I brought my bathing suit because I am definitely, definitely going to the beach. How cute are these glasses? They're from Shopney and Wild. Love them. I just love like the reflection. I love the pink in the inside. And I especially love that they were $12. Because I just bought those Desi um, Key sunglasses at Generation Beauty. They were $60, which I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I spent $60 on a pair of sunglasses. Because I do not like to buy expensive sunglasses because I always lose them. Like I just, not always lose them. I generally take care of them, but you never know. Like it just makes me mad to spend so much money on something and then that you could easily lose like sunglasses. So. I lost my Ray-Bans the other day because I put them, I went to order food, put them on top of the counter, left to go to another store, came back, gone. So I was pretty upset about that and um, I just bought some, th I bought the key sunglasses from Desi with the collab and then after having them I'm like why did I buy these? My neon wild sunglasses look just like them and even much cooler because they have the pink stuff on the outside so I think I'm going to return them and I'm going to get the black ones because I do like the all black aviators and I don't have any black sunglasses so I'm going to exchange the gold ones for the black. Okay. Let me put 
this girl's address because I'm sure she's waiting for me. I was kind of bummed because the forecast said, ooh, you know when you haven't put makeup on in a long time and then you see yourself and you're like, hey girl. Okay, vamonos. Safety first, guys. Safety first. I have to like make sure that there's no animals on the road because where my sister lives, there's like animals everywhere. They were like ducks crossing the street this morning and I had to wait for them to cross. And then my sister, I should have, I should have brought that thing for the car. Then my sister has like roosters in her freaking house that woke me up this morning and all these other animals and I'm just like, Yo, no I really wish that I had a, an auxiliary cord or that this car had boots. That's, I will say that. Um, I want to play my own music. Oh my God, guys. I like spent the whole day out with my best friend and I totally forgot my camera in the car. We drove in her car, so I forgot to vlog most of the day. But we went to get breakfast. Well, we had breakfast for lunch and then we went to Ulta. I totally wasn't supposed to go there and now we're at her house. She's making me dinner. Pictures of me. I look crazy. This is my best friend. I really this look good. This is up. my best friend. Really? Tell them. Tell them what you love about me the most. Besides that I'm beautiful and that I'm an amazing friend. And what else? That you're a go-getter. Oh, you're so sweet. Wait, how long have we been on each other now since we were in ninth grade? Yep. So definitely over 10 years. Yep. That's like almost 20 years. Dang, that's a long ass time. 9, 10th, 11th, 12th, and then years. college. Yep. That is almost 20 years. We that's, met, how, what year was? like 14 years. What year, what year was it that we were in um, freshman? And freshman, we were, it was 13. 2005. I was 13. 13 and we're 26 that's only like you were 13 when you were a freshman that doesn't even make sense yes what Jessica? no way Jessica. how were you 13 a freshman you're supposed to be fifth turning 15 a freshman i was 14 14 i turned 15 freshman year. yeah i was 14 sorry okay i was gonna say like how okay so that was in 2005 okay yeah so that was in may yeah, it's over. T it's uh ten. My birthday was always. I was always the youngest. What is that? Twelve years of camera. Come on, you're gonna be on my YouTube channel. Are you oh, serious? Mom you um, life. Betty just had a baby. All my friends just had babies. Betty, so what is one thing that you hate about me? The fact that you're filming me and I look like shit right now. <laughs> a real thing. Like what annoys you about me the most? You can um, say it. You can say it. If you can really say something that annoys you about another person, that means you're close. That means you're really I'm close. I'm trying to think because you get on my nerves a lot. So. <laughs> Dang, I only gave you a pass to say one thing. You don't got to roll down the scroll of decks of the things that you don't like about me. It is messy. I am not messy. Messy as hell. I, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a liar. That is not true. Such a liar. How am I messy? Please explain. Okay. Tell, tell me. How about you show them your room when nobody's like really there? I'm going to show you guys. My room, it always look it, depending on my schedule. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I will explain. I'll explain myself. So my room looks, how clean my room is depends on how my week is. If I have a really busy week, my room is going to be messy because I'm changing outfits. I change like 50 times. I'm in a rush. I'm always running late. So my room looks crazy. But if my room is clean, that means I don't have anything going on that week. And I have spare time to clean my room. And those are the facts. And so that means that means 95% of the time, my room looks like shit. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, we're done with this interview. I should have asked you that first and now you, and made you say something nice. What is something else that you like about me? I don't like to end on a bad note. And by the way, being messy and being dirty are two completely different things. Because my last roommates were dirty. I, on the other hand, 
just a little messy when I'm busy. Okay, so now you have to say something that you love about me. Another thing. You're a loyal friend. Yes, loyalty is everything. I am. Ride or die. Me and stories have me and Betty have so many stories of when we lived in Miami, Lord. That's when we really got close. Remember when I used to make you breakfast in my dorm? I know, you should do that today, tomorrow. I mean, I did. We went out to eat breakfast. It's the same thing. You didn't make me shit. I kind of cooked for you. I gave you my bacon. <laughs> Guys, I'm so annoyed right now. I just left Betty's house. Well, no, I did not just leave. I left her house like half an hour ago. And on the way home to my sister's house, I was like, oh my God, tomorrow's my niece's birthday, Jada. Like, let me stop at a Walmart, get her some balloons, get her a cupcake. Like, I want to wake her up and sing her happy birthday. So I put... There's a Walmart by my sister's house, so I had a feeling like, it's probably like 15 minutes away from my sister's house. I was like, oh, I should just go to that one. But then I was like, wait, let me put in the GPS and see if there's a Walmart on my way there. So I did, and basically it just gave me like the biggest run around and brought me like all the way back to another part of town. And so I get to this freaking Walmart, and it's a neighborhood Walmart, and they're freaking closed. So I'm kind of annoyed, so I'm going back to another Walmart and who knows what time I'll be home. Six years old. Okay, and what are we doing today? We're gonna have a set, something amazing tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow or today? Tomorrow. Okay, what are we doing right now? We're gonna go buy the presents for right now. No, dead. right now we're having breakfast at your school. Right now we're having breakfast. You need to finish eating your food. Eat your cereal. One of these graham crackers. Who remembers this lunch? <laughs> I tried one of those. So I just finished dropping off my niece and nephew in school and it was so nice because I got to go inside the school and have breakfast with them and then walk them to their class and I literally almost cried. I don't know if it's because it's my time of the month but I walked my niece to her classroom and when she walked in you know she has her birthday crown on so all the kids were like happy birthday Jada and I literally almost cried like I can't like these are the moments I live for and yes it sucks waking up super early to take them to school but I like forced myself to do it because like I'm never gonna get this time back and I'm never here the last time I saw them was a year ago so I am really loving these early mornings that I get to spend with them and drop them off at school and I'm definitely gonna come inside and have breakfast with them every single day if I can until I leave so my niece is super excited because I'm gonna pick her up from school today. I didn't get to pick her up yesterday because I was with my friend. But I'm gonna pick her up from school today and we're gonna film a YouTube video so she's super excited and I can't wait to see her. I adore her and it's so funny to me how she looks exactly like me. People always think that she's my daughter when they see her with my sister. Like they'll go up to her if they know us obviously and they'll be like, oh my God, did Ada have a daughter? She's like, no, that's my daughter. So I like to think that as God's way of punishing my sister for all the evil stuff that she did to me now she has a daughter that looks and acts just like me even one of the teachers she came up to me and she said now are you her aunt or her mom because I, I've seen her mom I'm pretty sure I've seen her mom around here but she looks just like you and I'm like I know I know I was like no that's my niece but I love that little girl so much I mean hello my sister even named her after me her name is Jada her, Ada is in there, J-E-A-D-A. -A. Well, her name is Jada Lise, but Ada is right in the middle of her name. How dope, right? All right, guys, headed back home. Gonna edit some videos, answer a couple emails, and then I have a bridal trial later today. That's gonna be fun. Hello. Oh my God. Hi, what's your name? Leonardo, how old are you? No. One, two, how old are you? I have the Mama, two? 
No, he's come. Okay, what's your name? Nona. And how old are you? How old are you? No, you're not two. Jennifer, she said she was two. Jennifer, she said she was two years old. I said you're not two. You're gonna be four. Okay, how old are you, Loonies? You're gonna be one, two, three, four. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink? Look, you're wearing a pink shirt right now. Yeah, because I love pink. And who's your favorite Disney princess? Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, why? Because you like to sleep? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye. You're not gonna say bye. 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 And I mean, I kind of think like the. Good morning, guys. I am kind of taking over Ada just for a little bit because she's working right here behind me. My name's Susie. And we are at Olivia's wedding day makeup thing. Hi, guys. And this is Anna. And she's getting her makeup done right now. Her eyes. Check out those brows. So pretty. Hey guys, we are back in action. As you can see, my hair is already done. Um, I'm going to be next for makeup, but I just want to show you guys the bride is in progress with Ada. This is the bride. So, if you guys didn't already know, um, both of us, the bride and I'm the maid of honor, Susie, and we went to high school with Ada, and the bride actually got engaged in New York, and Ada also did her engagement uh, photos, her makeup for that. So we're just so excited to have Ada here, and it's been great. I'm excited to be here. So I'm gonna show you some of the girls that already have their makeup done and their hair done, because it's just, it's so beautiful and so amazing. I don't know why. Hi, oh hi! <laughs> You're like, oh my God! <laughs> this is her makeup, close your eyes, Miriam. And then she's got nude lips going on. And her lashes. <laughs> and her curly hair. And Anna's working on her hair right now. But she's got the same kind of um, uh, makeup going on with the brown and the lashes. And it just looks so pretty. And then we have. Oh, here it goes. Lourdes. She's doing her makeup. Look at how amazing her eyebrows look. And just, sorry if it's too loud, but um, her lashes are so beautiful. So, the bride is crying. This was expected. Uh, but I think Ada's gonna have waterproof yes. mascara. Yes. So, right for you. Like, got that covered. So, we're gonna check back with you guys when the bride is a little bit more uh, in the process of doing her makeup. Of course. Actually, let me tell you guys something. Um, when we were in high school, I um, did updates here. When we were in high school, Ada used to do my makeup for prom. So I just feel so excited that she gets to do my makeup for prom. You were my first client, you know that? I was yeah. on a toilet. I put lashes on you on the top of the toilet. So as you can see, I have these cheeky eyes that I love now. But I don't have any lashes, so I bought lashes at Walgreens, and I'm like, Ada, you have to put these lashes on me. And she's like, what? I don't know how to do this. But now look at her. <laughs> We're blocking. Hey guys. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the makeup that's going on right now. Hey. And Ada working her way. Ada working her magic.
by. Excited to eat at Chick Fil A Yay. after school. Chick Fil A is life. This Chick Fil A sauce is everything. Uh, I'm going to How are you liking your food, Jada? Good. It's good. I'm going to make a what about you, though, Nelly? Good. I'm, I'm you about like to, the food? I'm, I'm about to do the challenge with the hot sauce. No, don't. Don't eat too much hot sauce because okay, I, I don't know what to, to do crazy. if something happens to you. I'm going to go crazy. How was school today? Good. Good? What'd you do? Why do you have your mouth full? Um, we did um, we science and um, sketching on the Mmm, okay, now let's eat your food and then you can play in here. In the playpen! Do that. Crazy girl. Okay, bye. Smile for real. Now it's a video. Hey, hey, now I got you. It's a video. It's a video. I like it. Ooh, boo, boo. I brought my camera so you could vlog. Okay, so these are like my best friends from Tampa. So this is Betty, <laughs> this is Heidi, and this is Jessica. Hello. And we've been knowing each other for how many years now? Like, too long. Yeah. Too damn long. Too, yeah. Since we were like freshmen. Well, I've been knowing them since I was a freshman. They've been knowing each other since they were like born. These three. Born. The trio. <laughs> 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 they, feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> they crazy AF, all three of them. Uh, all whoa. three of them, especially when they're together, they're a hot mess. That's why I love them. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. Chug, 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 chug. Mama say off. Mama say off. Mama say off. Mama say off. No kids. No kids. <laughs> How's that margarita? Awesome. Let me tell you, with a little bit of wine. <laughs> this is why I love coming to Florida. This whole thing is five dollars. In New York, this would have been like twenty-five dollars, and that would have been like thirty. Okay. Hey guys, so I feel like it's been a while. Sorry, I'm like talking to you guys down here because the sun is like right in my face. So if I put the camera more up, it's like blinding, but it's been a while. I feel like I've been sucking at vlogging this trip and it's just because like the purpose of this trip for me was to come here and relax. I was like super stressed out with work in New York right before I came. So I've really been just taking time out to enjoy my family and relax. And then I'm like, oh my God, I should have vlogged this. But then obviously it's too late. But yeah, I've just been relaxing. Like right now it's about 6.30 p.m. And I'm at like this apartment complex that one of my friends like used to live at, but they're like super chill. So like we still come here and like use the pool, but it's such a beautiful apartment complex. And I'm pretty sure that like a one bedroom here probably goes for the same price that I pay for my room to rent my room in new york which kind of sucks like oh, i love new york city i love it so much but honestly like the cost of living and like the stress factor there like oh my god that can drive anybody crazy and it's just so nice when you can get away and you come to places like tampa where the cost of living is so low compared to new york and they have like beautiful sceneries like this and great weather most most year round and like beautiful homes and apartments for like the same price that i'm paying for my room like i have so many friends that are buying houses and their mortgages are like less than what i pay to rent my room it's it's quite sad but yeah like i don't know i, I feel like the older i get the more i kind of fall in love with tampa it's really weird because when i was younger like i have i wanted nothing to do with this place like i moved as soon as i turned 18 went to miami then went to new york but the more i come the more i feel like 
I kind of want to buy like a house here or like a condo or an apartment something and like be back and forth between here and New York I want to do like New York winters in Florida and then just be in New York for the summer because with what I do like I still need to be in the city so I can't permanently leave New York like the gypsy can't be out of the city I don't know man I'm definitely I'm gonna put it on my five-year vision board plan I would love to buy some type of property down here and just be able to travel back and forth because for a long time I'm like well like I could move to New Jersey it's right across the bridge and then I can still be in the city and have like a house and have my own space but at the but at the end of the day, like, I love, like, warm weather. I love the beach. And, like, Tampa definitely has that where Jersey doesn't. So if I can have a house here and just be back and forth, I would be so happy. I would be super happy. Guys, this is so relaxing. Like, you don't even understand. It's so beautiful. I really, really want to catch the sunset, but I don't want to get back to my sister's house so late because I do want to spend time with my niece and nephew. I think we'll probably like watch some movies tonight and have pizza with them. So I'm going to head out. I really wish I could stay to watch the sunset, but that's not going to happen until like another hour or something. So I'm going to get ready to head out. If you're watching this and you're like stressed out with work, your life is kind of like up in the air and you don't really know what's going on please stop what you're doing and arrange for a little break for yourself it's so important to take breaks because what happens is if we continuously work without taking a break burn yourself out and that's not good at all so if you're watching this and your life is stressing you out stop book a ticket to like anywhere that is not your home that is super cheap and just leave for leave town for a few days and do your thing and come back with a refresh and a renewed mind i promise you you'll thank me later do something out of the norm for once in your life travel i promise you it will change your life even if you just travel to like the next town over or the next city if you like warm places and the beach is your thing travel south travel somewhere warm if you like to be adventurous go to hiking i don't know switch it up live a little What's his yeah. name again? Robert. No, what do you call him? Boyard. <laughs> What's that song you were singing to him? Calabasa, Calabasa. Calabasa, 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 Calabasa. What's that song, other song he likes? What's the other song he likes? Ah, I'm not even gonna like on. He loves that song. He says it. Ah. <laughs> Hello. So as you guys can see Jada has different textures so this texture up here in the front is looser and definitely way more frizzier Your turn here can you guys see and then her curls in the back are super curly it's so weird I want to say it's because my sister was straining her hair a lot and using a flat iron and you know usually the pieces at the top is where you uh, use the flat iron the most because that's the part that people can see so Oh, she's kind of messed up her texture a little bit here so I'm hoping that with this haircut and with the techniques that I've been teaching her on how to do her hair that she can hopefully recuperate her curls here at the top let me see turn your hair around like this okay the other side Mamma, mi dai sei chi
chicken nila mama. Yung chicken. Ito yung chicken ni mama. Pollo. Ano kita yung pollo ni mama? Ay, ¿por qué que tú le dices pollo? Porque yo compré un muñequito con un pollito. Cuando, cuando estaba en la barriga, yo le dije a Mabel que era varón. Yo le dije un más. Pollo. Mira, no quiere comida, Mabel. Entonces, yo me voy la primera semana de noviembre. ¿Noviembre o diciembre? En noviembre. Ahora. Pero ya son como tres semanas. ¿Para Nueva York? No, para el domingo. Otra vez. My last moments with Aqua, guys. It's been fun. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the airport. <sighs> Those days seriously like flew by so fast. I can't believe I've been here for 16 days. And yeah, my flight leaves at six o'clock in the morning, so I'm headed to the airport now. And it's been so much fun driving this car. I have to say that I was so not skeptical about it first, but I don't know. I've always like hated on these little cars. I just don't understand why people get them. But after driving one for two weeks, I completely understand the necessity for them and how amazing they are. It was a time that it was my sister her my sister and her three kids and myself in the car we all fit perfectly and my favorite part about the car is that the gas oh my god since i've been here i filled up twice and both times i was able to fill up the car with 12 or between 12 to 15 dollars that is phenomenal phenomenal and yeah i've just been obsessed with this little car thank you thank you you too just getting some food car is just super convenient i mean i, I would have never thought that i would have liked driving these type of cars especially you know why because i'm so tall i'm like 5'10 so i would have never thought that i would be comfortable in hi these guys i'm home home sweet home um I'm a little sad. I didn't get to say bye to my niece and nephew because I left so early so I'm really missing them. I'm definitely already missing my little aqua. You know, it's so convenient having a car. You guys just don't understand. Like, New York, yes, the train is great. Sometimes it's faster than even driving. But the convenience of just like getting in a car and going is so convenient. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I'm home. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little florida vacation vlog i know it was kind of random and all over the place i definitely had the intention to vlog the whole thing but while i was there i was just kind of enjoying the moment and being present and enjoying my time with my friends and family and then i would be like oh my god i should have vlogged this but you know what that's what life is about just enjoying the now um not everything has to be documented but i'm happy that i did at least manage to document a little bit of it and you guys got to meet my crazy family even if it was just for a bit so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed my vlog shout out to drive shop for hooking me up with my little mitsubishi mirage which i miss so much that car definitely changed my perspective on the little shorties on the little tiny cars and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you on my next vlog bye